All right, Scope TV, we are back, April 1st. Rick and Lauren, you guys still with me? Yes, yes we are. All Happy right. Now, the Raven Drum Foundation, I know, I know Lauren keeps bringing it up, is just an incredible cause. Please, explain to my listeners how, obviously, Rick, Rick's experience brought that on and how my listeners can help and get involved. Well, anyone who's interested in finding out more information about Raven Drum can go to the website, of course, um, ravendrumfoundation.org. Um, and there's, we have things called a Friends Circle Challenge and where people can get together in their community and, and have an event and raise money uh, for, for the cause. And what we're doing is really providing support for people in crisis. Uh, right now we're focusing on veterans and their families. And we provide um, healing experiences through the drum and through other uh, alternative healing modalities so that people can uh, address the levels of stress that they have. And, of course, some of these veterans are facing very severe stress called you know, combat stress or post-traumatic stress. And we work in collaboration with psychotherapists and psychiatrists that also are supporting them. And we give them a different way to approach their feelings and uh, through their body and, and through their spiritual relationship um, by bringing the drums in. And it's so powerful and beautiful, and you don't even need a lot of words, which is wonderful, because mm -hmm. the music, as everyone knows, as music lovers, the music takes you to another place automatically. You don't even really need you know, words to do it. So uh, if you want like to get involved, we'd love to hear from you. And we do things around the country, um, and not just in California, although California is our primary place. Um, we do venture out and, and do some things. We'll be in Connecticut in May, and we've been down to Texas and down to Mexico and uh, also in England. And So we're looking forward to, to moving this around. And what was that URL again? What was that website again, Lauren? Uh, Ravendrumfoundation.org. Ravendrumfoundation.org, everyone. Go check that out. Google it. Check it out. Now... The two of you have both been absolutely inspirational on how you've overcome tragedy in your own lives. Can you offer some advice for those going through these very tough times, through this global financial crisis that we're having? Maybe some, I don't know, some words of wisdom, some things that you've learned. Uh, well, that's, that's, a really, that's a really good question. Um, you know, we're, we're just sort of uh, taking stock of, uh, of things we've got out there and really making sure that we're not we're not spending we're not spending things that we we, we needn't be spending you know um, it's uh, yeah and, and and just just really I, I guess taking stock of your your emotions um, you know it, it's, it's good to ask yourself questions like you know do I really need it do I really need something? Uh, if it's a real need, then obviously it's good to uh, to make that choice. But uh, but if it, if it's just uh, something on a whim, then maybe it's not necessarily the wisest way to go. And surrounding yourself with family, I think we're we're looking at our life and going, you know, and and, and starting to look at the fragility of everything because nothing is is permanent. No matter you know how much wealth or or fame or anything else you have success in your work, um, you know, things change so rapidly and so quickly that it's really important, that, you know, we're surrounding all of our attention um, towards towards our family and really keeping things close to home right now. Um, and we're inviting more people over to our house and hosting things here instead of going out and doing things because uh, we're just we're appreciating our life. I think that's what we need to do. I, and however small of a way you can do it. That's great. And I and I and I know that everybody's listening and those that need it, they're they're taking heeds to your words, that's for sure. Now, Rick, the industry today is totally different than when Def Leopard was on top. I mean that's it's just night and day. Do you see all these changes digitally, everything? Do you see this as a positive or negative for music as a whole? Not just the music industry but music as a whole? Um, I think it's going to go through uh, teething problems. It's, it's obviously, you know, new ideas. It takes time for people to catch up. Um, but um, generally, I think people really, they've, they've already chosen the way they want to receive music. 
it's just a matter of you know the industry itself kind of catching up um, and, and making sure that they can deliver. Um, and I don't I don't think it's very wise to stick to one particular um, technology. I think I think these days it's good to go go after everything. I mean, you know, however you can get your music out there, I think is is a really is a really good thing to do. It's not any one small uh, technology that is that is really going to um, show show you off to people. I think it's a combination of many different things, and and not just not just necessarily you know the the, the normal outlet. Uh, there's there's all kinds of other opportunities. Um, I've been working on um, some soundtracks for um, for some documentaries, um, you know, and that's a complete departure for me. But it, hey, it's music, and I really I really enjoy again. I really enjoy the challenge of putting music to you know to moving pictures. So so it's really diversifying. That's that's really great. You really nailed it with that one. Now my final question. Lauren Monroe, this this album, everyone needs to hear it. Where can listeners get more from Lauren? Where can they get more from Rick? What's coming up for you two personally, professionally? Please let my listeners know. We got about a minute left where we can get more from you two. Well, you can look on iTunes, Lauren Monroe. Uh, you, can, you can visit me at my MySpace, Lauren Monroe Music. Um, of course, DefLeopard.com. This, this shows all of his tour dates. On where I reckon the guys will be and what they're doing. And uh, RavenDrumFoundation.org will also list the events that we're, we're hosting and uh, where we'll be drumming so you can come and visit. Um, and then there's LaurenMonroe.com, of Lauren, course. Yes, of course. We'd love to see you there. Will Lauren be opening up for Def Leppard? No. Okay. It's probably, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, lo- it's lovely having a, a, a sort of a, a, separate, a separate thing that, you know, is really, is really ours. And, uh, you know, the guys love what we're doing, but I don't necessarily want to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to put them in that position and ask them. And I think, I, you know, I think it's, a, it's, it's better for me professionally, really, to, to, to be on my own. And when I'm at the Def Leppard show, I'm, I'm Rick's wife. I'm there to support him. Can I be honest? I really think that you guys are, are forming your own lane with Lauren's stuff. So, you know, I was just kind of... I was kind of kidding, kind of being facetious. So, you know, just having a little fun with you guys. It's, it's That's cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I was just kind of having fun with you. But, uh, Scope TV, April 1st, Rick Allen and Lauren, please say goodbye to the Scope listeners at home. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. And we will be back with you all very soon.